Oh, you were you were close. You were close. That was not bad, Bart, but we are definitely getting better. That is five uh, pianos down, I think. What the hell? Come on, you two! What? Why is everybody involved in this? <laughs> no! And everyone what? No, I'm not doing anything. You guys do it! You do it for me, because I, I cannot spin with a microphone on. One more time! Your dance is lame, stripper lady. But hooray! We've 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 also learned how to dance apparently along with uh, playing the the piano organ thing. And down here is the item shop, which, like I said, I'm pretty sure never gets an upgrade. Nope, nothing new there. I uh, don't think I need any items just yet. I think I'm doing fine with uh, all the MP uh, that I have, especially now that I have two white mages. Well, the white mage and a red mage, which pretty much counts as two white mages for me. Over here of Crescent Island, far to the east, it really is shaped like a crescent. Thank you. I don't honestly know why they tell us about Crescent Island, because I do not believe that you can get here uh, without the black chocobo. Uh, from Crescent Island. I, I, so, I'm not exactly sure why they're telling us about that, but I could be wrong. There could be a way to get here uh, before this point, but I don't really see the point of doing that. Let's check out the weapon shop. A cleaver. Holy cow. That, that does look good. Uh, so, I actually do need a, a few things here. Uh, how come the ninja can't equip the katana? What kind of bullcrap is that? Uh, so I am going to get, uh, I believe, two coral swords. Now, one sh one should hold me. One should hold me. That should be fine. Uh, that katana looks really good, but it's really expensive, and I don't know when I will be using it next. So I'm going to hold off on that just for now, just for now. And then uh, the cleaver. I don't really use anything that can equip an axe. Um, the only thing I, I even had that was close was the Berserker, and that was pretty much a one-time deal. What do you have at the armor shop, though? Do you have anything good here? You have green berets, ninja suits, and a poet's robe. I probably could equip uh, two more of the ninja suits, and then uh, we'll buy one poet robe uh, just in case anybody should want to be a bard. I will get that eventually, but I am not a fan of pure buff debuff uh, job classes, so you won't be seeing me use that very often. Let's go ahead and start optimizing people. You need this. The Mage Slasher is better than the Ninja Knife? You're kidding me. I didn't know that. Good thing I stole it. Uh, once again, that probably, that is the best one actually. That is the best one. The relics, sometimes they uh, they don't work right. Poet robe is definitely better. Leather shoes. And then, you know, you're staying on the elf cloak. And then coral sword, coral sword even, uh, is definitely what you are keeping. And then, yeah, no, keep the silver arm band. Keep that. So apparently red mages also count as ninjas. Who knew? I will take it, though. I will take it. But that looks like that is actually it that we can do in this town, believe it or not. So, I'm going to rest up at the inn, buy whatever items I need, and I'll meet you outside. Rested and saved. Bought a few items. I did need more uh, Phoenix Downs. But we are now ready to move on. We need to head pretty much back the way that we came, back to the Black Chocobo. This was pretty much all a side quest. Granted, there wasn't much of a quest to be done here, but more like item and equipment that you can get, but it's optional nonetheless. Now, this is required to move the quest forward, but the town seems to be uh, leveled, uh, at least equipment-wise, so that you go here now. So I thought this was an appropriate time to head there. Let's get back on our chocobo, or we could get in a fight on top of our chocobo. Now we can get on the chocobo instead of just fighting on top of him. Now we pretty much have two options at this point. You can go back to Crescent Town um, to try to get any of the... Uh, items that I didn't get in terms of equipment, however, most of those were for the hunter and bard, and I have really no interest in getting those just yet. So we are going to head forward with the plot instead. 
which involves us pretty much heading back the way that we came to let uh, Sid Mid know what happened with the uh, fire ship. So we need to head back to the Library of Ancients, which is not very far away from where we already were. Sid Mid, it's gone. You're back. Professor Sid, the fire ship sunk off Crescent Island. That right? No problem, we'll build another. More importantly, we found King Tycoon. What? You found the king? He was seen in Karnak. Then he went into the desert of sand tides. Sand tides? It's a huge desert west of here where the sand flows like water. They call it sand sea in later games. Beyond the desert is the town of Ruin, but no one can enter it. And how did he get in there? Beats me. Thanks for all the info, Sid. Those who saw him said he was floating. Floating? I don't have any kind of floating magic. Father, die to the sand tides. But how are we going to get in? We'll find a way. Of course we will. Let's check it out. But first, I do need to heal using the pot back in, uh, in the library here. All healed and ready to head west to the sands that they have spoken of. Are there going to be quarter harpies this time? I hope not. That thing was tough. How sand can move like waves is beyond me, but there it goes. So... Final Fantasy XII was not the first time that happened. Let's head over here. And it looks like... Well, we've made it to the Sand Tides. There's no other way to put it. Do we have new enemies that were here? I didn't realize you could get into a fight on this screen, to be honest with you. We do! We have Sand Killers and Sand Boils. Now, these guys should all have the same weakness. Unfortunately, I have no way of exploiting it just yet. Uh, that weakness being water. I don't have blue magic, uh, well, equipped to be able to use just yet. Fine, run away, killer. Freaking sand killer just ran off. But, that can be easily fixed. Easily fixed. Give me that tonic. Uh, we need to continue to head south here, I believe. What? No go! What? Wait! Don't give up yet! What? What's up, dudes? We'll build a bridge! A bit risky, but it's an idea! How are you gonna build a bridge across that? First, we'll use this bell to, s to call the sandworms, which you go boys will promptly thrash. And there's your bridge! That's not really building a bridge as me killing a guy and walking on him. Seems a bit rough, doesn't it? <laughs> that's coming. That's a laugh coming from you. I'm going to ring the bell. All set? Uh, no. Uh, let me rearrange my party uh, just a bit. Okay, now I think I am ready. I'll go over what I did in just a second. Ring the bell! If you use any magic on the sandworms, your history. Good luck. Here goes. Really? Don't use any magic on the sandworms. That's what he said. However, I know better. Here comes the sandworms. We must get the spice. We have to control the spice. Is it that kind of sandworm? Holy crap. That thing was fast as hell. How the hell can a worm be that fast? And it's boss time. We're up against holes. There's the sandworm. There he is. And what I have done to change my party just a little bit is I gave Ferris uh, blue magic instead of learning on the uh, as her ability. Let's go ahead and use ice too. And we can use aqua rake. How does that taste? Huh? Sandworm? He's a ground type. Use water. And down goes the sandworm. One hit. One hit. <laughs> Five ability points for that, and Galif has gained a job level. He's learned white force, so and now we can use Asuna as a different job class. God, Aqua Rake. It's right on the way. Otherwise, that guy can be a hassle. 
That guy can be a hassle, but Aqua Rake makes that so easy. I didn't realize I could do it in one hit, though, to be honest with you. Now we can get in there! Hooray! Sid, Mid, please look after our black chocobo while we're gone. Everybody is looking after our chocobos. What the hell? Good luck. I'll need it. Take care! Are you guys going to go away just yet? Alright, let's just head across here and get into another fight. Do we have anything new this time? No, we do not. So let's continue on. We want to step off the right side here, and that should drop us down here. Now, I believe we just want to head straight down from here. And we can still get into another fight on the sand. On the sand. And we do have a new enemy here. We have a sand bear that hits really hard, surprisingly. And damn it, how you dare you miss with the moon ring and... Okay, hit him with the mage slasher and now he can't use magic. Reyna, finish off the bear. How is a bear in the sand anyway? Okay, apparently that's not enough, so I need to cure uh, Ferris here. Go ahead and cure Ferris. She needs a little bit of help. She doesn't have any pants on. No, no, she's wearing like a red skirt. That works fine. Sure, why not? Down goes the sand bear. And for that battle, you get 195 gil, 90 experience, and 1 ability point. Reyna has gained a job level. She has learned how to counter, so she can bring that forward with her as well. Ferris re receives red too. I'm going to probably keep them how they are right now, though. And I've also received an antidote. Very nice. Let's continue to try to head out of here. I swore... No! There we go. That's how I wanted to do it. And we have made it to the other side of the sand tides. That completely makes sense. Now we can head further south. Are there new enemies on the other side of the desert? There are not. But let's continue on anyway. Let's head down south here, and here we have found another town. What awaits us inside this town? You'll have to wait to find out next time. I've been Baller Scuba, and that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Bart, Reyna, Gallif, and Ferris. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.